cards. I don't have an, a beginning here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then just, then just do the... <laughs> just well, do whatever's here. That's the way it goes with us. Nothing ever works out. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed with the number of people here. Don't you folks have anything to do? <laughs> Well, I do want to thank you for being here. <laughs> Otherwise, all this work I've done would be for naught. <laughs> thank you for being here <laughs> and bringing such a wonderful feeling of really true friendship with you. Okay, this is this me. you. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't rehearse this, but you can see. <laughs> Those years of being a mother to young children were wonderful years. We lived in a semi-rural area. We had a large piece of property with lawns and gardens and orchards and plenty of work to keep the children out of mischief. Just didn't work. <laughs> Did I go home? He came in the kitchen, straddled a chair backwards, and said, Mom, I had a wonderful childhood, didn't I? And I thought, I'm glad he enjoyed it. <laughs> Jewish women have a wonderful way of bidding each other goodbye. They say, they don't say goodbye, they don't say adios, they say, have joy in your children. And so I would say to all of you, have joy in your mothering. I know it's hard, but try. <laughs> Whether you are the mother, the aunt, the aunt. <laughs> I was trying She's to trying be trying fancy. To be <laughs> Where were we? aunt. <laughs> oh. Mother, uh, over the years your advice and influence has shaped my life. What message would you like to share with these women today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is out of control. <laughs> don't worry, I've got it written here. <laughs> my advice is to be the best person you can be. <laughs> Profound, isn't it? <laughs> Women today find themselves in very different circumstances. We may ask, is life fair? Was this what I was born to do? We ask that all the time, don't we, Mother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Perhaps our greatest quest is to live worthy to know what the Lord's will is concerning us, what we are meant to do. Some of us are married, some of us are not, and fortunately, fortunately, I mean. <laughs> What's the matter? Where are we now? Um, some of just oh. here. Some women are leaders. That's a profound statement. <laughs> this church is full of them. Bright, capable women who are doing wonderful things. 